World Cup. Um, it's not easy, but thank God that um, with the prayers and um, the, the help of people, I made it to the finals in Brazil. Papa's success story is seen as a dream come true. When four years ago, President James said the Gambia will one day play in the World Cup. It might not be the Scorpions qualifying for now, but with Papa Gasama in the World Cup, the Gambia is in fact in the World Cup. When the World Cup kicks off in Brazil on Thursday, 12 June, the world's finest footballers will be there to contest football's most prestigious prize. And in the mix of things, there will be this man, the Gambia's Bakari Papa Gasama. And with the country's football plunged into crisis at the moment, leaving the country's football with much to be desired, Papa's outing in the World Cup will bring back some smiles on the faces of the country's disgruntled football fans. Momodes Jalo, Jalo Sports. Well, we say congratulations to Bakari Papagasama and wish him good luck. And before we go, a quick reminder of the day's top stories. Renowned Jamaican job pilot Mutabaruka has been discussing ways of forging closer ties with Vice President Njai Saidi, Dr. Isatou Njai Saidi at State House. Coastal communities have benefited from water and hygiene facilities courtesy of Banafa Project. The city of Josh in Nigeria on the edge of twin bomb explosions killed more than 100 and left scores of injuries. And Guinea-Bissau's former finance minister has emerged a winner in the second round of elections with more than 60% of the vote. Well, that was all in this edition of the News at 8. Thanks for watching and we'll be back at 10 with more news. Until then, thank you for joining us. And you're watching Tech Biz Insight. Coming up. Do you know that cars can be equipped with technology to detect driver emotions? See the future air transport that is powered by electricity. What if technology can save the world heritage site? Arlen Gare was in the market to update you with the latest in the local market. No. And what if proper technology-driven safety drills can prevent ferry disasters like the one seen recently in South Korea? All these and much more coming right here and right now on Tech Biz Insight. offers you the lowest international tariff ever. Lower than anywhere else. Comium Super Savers. Now is the time to call family and friends all over the world at rates you can definitely afford. Comium brings you the lowest international call rates ever. Name your country and we got the lowest rates to the destination. Also, receive international calls with your Comium number and get free credit. One of the many reasons we say your credit lasts longer with Comium. Comium. We are better together. 
Mummy mayonnaise is a delicious and great mayonnaise that can cheer you up. <laughs> a gambin produced mayonnaise are made with great quality ingredients like soybean oil, eggs and vinegar. Mummy mayonnaise is a versatile ingredient for our favorite recipe. Why just eat when you can eat the best? Mummy mayonnaise. <laughs> Taste the difference. Mm. Mummy mayonnaise, the mayonnaise that makes you say, hmm. when you can eat the best chips and win great gifts. Yeah, Afro Chips is a Gambian made chips with two delicious flavors that every kid loves, sugar and cheese. Try any of our delicious flavors today and collect pictures of football players that you will find inside each chips bag. Also cup and stick it on the left side and win bicycle, remote control cars, Jay-Z football or a soccer ball. Afro Chips, eat good, Collect and win. A new technology has been developed for cars that read one's face to determine stress, anger, sleepiness, or even happiness mood of the driver. The Swiss Institute of Technology embarked on this research in the quest to enhance safer driving but targeting the human face of driving. Based on the mood detected, the car automatically responds to the driver with music to soothe the emotion at stake, thereby reducing the possibility of an accident. This report explains. Professor Jean-Philippe Tiran at Swiss Technology Institute EPFL in Lausanne is testing a new emotion detector that could one day help control road rage and wake up drowsy drivers. Basically we have this camera, this uh, series of LEDs and then at the back we have a computer analyzing the video in real time. The first difficulty is really the light conditions and so to cope with that we, uh, we choose to use an infrared camera, a camera which is sensitive in the infrared and have infrared lighting so we get rid of the problem of illumination uh, and so we can work over day or overnight without problem. The detector is the result of a joint project between EPFL and PSA Peugeot Citroën. Researchers developed an algorithm that taught the detector to identify emotions in photographs and then tested it on live volunteers. They used special test cars in a variety of situations and driving conditions. The results showed 85% accuracy in spotting irritation. Drowsiness is identified by monitoring eyelid movement and similar success rates were achieved. If the car detects that the driver is tired, is getting sleepy, then the car might start an energetic music or change the light of the dashboard to make it more, more aggressive. On the contrary, if the, it happens that the driver is stressed, then the car should for instance, start a, a calm music. Olivier Pajot, general manager of Stellab, the EPFL PSA Peugeot Citroen collaboration group, says an emotion detector could bridge the gap between manual and fully automated cars. One of the intermi intermediate steps is a partially autonomous vehicle. That means that the vehicle will uh, be able to drive by itself, but uh, will still need some uh, uh, supervision by, by the driver. The idea of developing gadgets like these is to improve safety and eliminate driver error, which is now the leading cause of road accidents. Imagine traveling on an airplane powered by an electric charge. The European aviation company Airbus says it has conducted test flights for the first ever all-electric aircraft at an airport near Bordeaux in France. The e was designed by Airbus, which is based in Toulouse. This could be a...